that goes that way. There seems to be multiple... Ah, uh, fuck it, I'm already going over this way. There's multiple ways to get... I hear, but I don't see. Okay, yeah, that works. I don't want to leave yet because I want to see. Well, I gotta look up that code first, but um, I'm probably gonna just jump, skip there, and uh, all that good stuff. Found this prison. Yep. And this is where I find the uh, the founder. won't let me in. What's over there? <laughs> oh, nothing won't let me over there. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's crazy. If I was to jump from up there and just fall, <laughs> it probably looked like that fucking retard. Commander Ford, activate the red crystal. Uh, that means the war is in trouble. Ellen was too damn smart to activate that thing otherwise. But what do you need me for? I need to get to the rusted place on the island. Rusted? Dreamer was the gate. My, my life's work. Fair warning. You're walking a pretty dangerous road. But maybe, just, 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 just maybe, you'll succeed where I fail. How can I help? Can you tell me how to get to the tower, or how to get into the tower? Yeah, I know. There's a mirror in Ward 13, not where the survivors live, in the lower floors, locked away. That mirror is like a door to the other wards. Here, this key will let you unlock the computer connected to the mirror. How do I get to the mirror if it's locked away? Oh, right, of course. You've been to my office. There's a key card to the ward on my workbench. You mean this key card? That's it. 
Using it will get you into Ward 13. Just head to the lowest level of defense. And use it on the locked door. Wait, I have more questions. Sure. But don't waste time. The root aren't waiting around for you. What can I expect in Ward 17? Hell if I know. The root's been there since the beginning. And if the dragon, whatever is in there now, is their master. Bring everything you got. Don't take anything for granted. Why don't you come with me? Look at me. Do I look like I still got any fight left in me? I wish I could. But those days are long gone. You are the last hope now. You were trying to stop the root like I am. Why'd you quit? I regret giving. The answer was right under my nose, if only I hadn't stopped looking. But it cost me a lot to get this far. I sacrificed everything. Everyone I knew, loved, I'd had enough. Oh, I don't mean it's not worth a shot, especially <laughs> if you've got nothing left to lose. Just do yourself a favor, huh? Accept the price you paid to get there. It'll help you when it's over. Thank you for your help. Farewell. Good luck. You'll need it. Use the mirror in Ward 13. The founder told me about a mirror locked away in the deep rooms of Ward 13. He said I could use it like a portal to finally reach the eight hole or ward 17, as he called it. Is there something else you needed before you go? Thanks for your help. Farewell. Good luck. You'll need it. Okie dokie. But before I do that, I'm going to take a break. And um, see what that um those bells mean, cause Ravager, oh he wouldn't talk to me. Like I said, he wouldn't talk to me in the adventure run. So hopefully, you know, I'll get something very nice. If I complete the um this task. So uh yeah, I'm just gonna jump cut there and see what happens. Okay. Okie dokie. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this um, thing done. But I'm gonna use my other gun. I'm gonna use the. Uh, where's the repeater pistol at? Oh, it's just on it. Okie dokie. I got the Colts here. Let me see what the fuck I get. Okay, look like it's gonna be three, four, five, three, two, one. Three, four, five, three, two, uh, one. And what do I get? The heart of the wolf. I guess there's some kind of song book, I guess. I don't know where the fuck those things are at. Okay, let me see what this is real quick. 
Oh, look, found this key. Founder 4 says this key will unlock a computer connected to a mirror on the lower levels of Ward 13. Very nice, but I'm not going there yet because I got two more runs I have to do of uh, Yasha. Then I'll go there. Heart of the Wolf. Increases max stamina by 25 and movement speed by 10%. Ooh. I like it. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, the next one's gonna be 1134 1132. Unlocked swiftness. Ah, this one is about movement speed. Try it. Okay, increases healing effectiveness. Acquired by surviving the fight with the rebel siege on the Asia. Oh, okay. That might be useful. Swiftness increases movement speed acquired by playing the Song of the Guardian on the Bells in Yesha. Very nice. Well, I'm going to go ahead um, do two adventure runs, but as of right now, I'm probably going to go ahead and take a break. I done had it. I've been recording. I don't know how long and it's about time for me to take a break. Okie doke. I know exactly where to go, but I'm not going there just yet. Hold on. Five, 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 five. <laughs> I've been everywhere. Taking me 21 hours so far. Alright, let me go ahead and do two of these Yesha runs. I'm not doing them right now, but. Hold on. Campaigns for right now. I'm not doing them right now. I'm going to take a break. But before I do, let me just, let me just, uh, uh, keep his blessing. Look at that. Almost no weaknesses, bro. That's crazy. Almost no weaknesses. Need any scrounge? straight later late war Fire shot shoots an arcing fireball that deals 25 fire damage 
and ignites enemies with the the burning effect within two meters dealing 300 fire damage over 10 seconds sure eye of the storm fires a projectile that deals 25 shock damage and applies the overloaded effect overloaded enemies will trigger an explosion when they get within four meters from each other dealing up to 325 shock damage within five meters sure why not we're done here yep keep moving shut up Anything you need? I'd like to see your wares uh, let's see what I've got Not that I need to see your wares I just want to I just want to see what you got Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just uh, stick with the drifter armor. Just in case if I do run into um, what's his face? The thief. I know for a fact that I could deal just enough damage to where I got his number. Quite frankly, this might be the best armor in the game besides a little armor. You know, the little armor is just tanky as fuck. That's all it really is. It's just tanky as fuck. So no. But I digress. I should probably invest in like a melee weapon. Ah, uh, whatever. Well, I'm gonna call it call it a quits because um I'm tired. I've been recording for so long and I need to take a break. So I will see you lovely people on the next one. Late hua. Okie doke. I gotta do this two times. Okay, this is going to be one. Next one's going to be two, which means I'm going to be doing two and three. Well, I'm back from my break. Welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes. Going to do two adventure runs. Real pretty. I don't trust this place. Where are you going? Okay, I'm going this way. Welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes. Good job, Biscuits. As I was saying, welcome back to Remnant from the Ashes. Go and do these two adventure runs. And, um, okay, it's a branching path. I was so confused for a second, like, where the fuck am I going? Because the map kind of threw me off a little bit, like, oh, look, a chest, okay, yeah, the map threw me the fuck off, I don't know where the hell I was going, but as I was saying, I'm gonna do two adventure runs, and, uh, for you. Gonna do two adventure runs and um Oh, like, there 
there's nobody in front of me. Why am I getting hit? But back to what I was saying. Can't wait to see what uh what awaits me on the campaigns. I know I'm close to being done with the uh from the ashes campaign, but I still have to do the um I still gotta do the DLC. Is there no door over here? I can't tell what time of day this is. Ooh, another chest, all right. Go one on one with um, the dreamer and the dragon. Which the dreamer just so happens to be the guy that I'm looking for. Back then, I thought that the. I thought that was Gabriel, but no, Gabriel died. That's not Gabriel. That's the dreamer. That's the. That's the guy that had set himself off to to stop the uh, the root. I feel like this was no. There's something else over here. Wait a minute. He set his quest out to go and try to stop the root, but instead of destroying it, he joined them. I see it up there. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Nothing back here. Then the DLC. Got to go against um, Hasgard on the adventure run. May run into a uh, Clawbone. Like, there's a bunch of enemies that me and Game Time did not get a chance to see, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna have a lot of L's to um, to learn these guys, depending on my class setup and watch how they move if I die in the process nine times out of ten it's more of just trying to see exactly what I could do without you know like give me more time to see how they move just in case what if I do this or you know what if I do that change it around like I did with uh, the totem father at a certain point I come to realize that you know what the gun is not shooting fast enough. The fight, the speed of the fight has excelled to a point to where I could not keep up. That's why I died. And I acknowledged that when he had two of those um, those summoners out spawning double the enemies. So that pretty much just put me in a bad position. I realized I lost the fight because the fight is too far. It's, too, it's going too fast for me and I can't keep up because the guns were not shooting fast enough so yeah plus I had no damage the damage output was not enough I believe this is a one way oh, are they gonna let me go by no nah, they wouldn't because That would make too much sense. I heard something. Is that an elite? But yeah, it's just acknowledgement to see if I need to change something, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Have a better way of um approaching the fights. That's an elite, I knew it. Oh. 
I learned from the last time I got slapped by that dude. That dude and slapped the taste out of my mouth. Man, he said slap. Had me on the ground, wiping blood off my face. Tell you, man, it's craziness. Oh, uh, okay. I got, okay, you know, I got to do a double dodge because they do that slice move. Then it's a, another attack after that. So maybe... Let me see, let me see something. If they do this... No, that's not the move I'm looking for. Attack again. Yep, see that? This way first. Somebody's coming. Prick. I'll figure it out later. They got two attacks. Unless I decide, well, instead of me moving back, what if I move towards it? Let me see something real quick. Somebody's coming for me. I can hear him. Unless they fucking. seems to be multiple uh fuck it I'm already going over this way there's multiple ways to get but I hear but I don't see Okay, yeah, that works. I gotta do. Towards him to dodge an attack. Just sitting still is not gonna, well, trying to jump back ain't gonna cut it. I gotta actually move into the attack. They're gonna go that way, I'm gonna go this way. Huh. Mm. Uh -huh. 
Good job, Biscuits. And she's off to go attack. Well, she tried. I just cancel his attack. That's crazy. Why just this sit there? Is that a ton of knowledge over there? Yes, it is. Sliced in the neck, man. Uh, but on to more pressing matters. This is a huge map. <sighs> Remnant 2. Fuck you. you. Remnant 2 is on the horizon. What is this? Already got this. I gotta equip that when I'm scavenging. But yeah, um, Remnant 2 has been purchased. I cannot wait to play it. Is this a doorway? It looks like a doorway. I can't tell if it's night, high noon, morning. It looks like morning. Excuse me. Like, imagine a whole episode would be just this. Just me doing the first map. Well, the second map of Adventure Run. And hopefully I run into some new bosses. Because I do plan on doing survival. That much I can tell you. So I want to learn these bosses as much as I can so I don't get to a point to where I'm stuck. Okay, and I gotta go back up to that section right over there on the wall, east side, and um, see what that's about. This is gonna be a lot of areas to scavenge. enemies to the left of me. I have enemies in front of me. I have enemies to the right of me. I back myself into a corner. I'm gonna go melee. I'm going crazy. Bring yourself down here and get this ass whooping. to identify attacks. Uh, there's gotta be a bridge over there. There it is. I just came through there. Got. 
I literally just came through there. Seriously? See anything? Hey, there's something. <laughs> I won't lie. Uh, favorite armor besides the little armor? Okay, chest. All right. Now for me to go make my way over there to see what's on the eastern side of this map. And the reason why I like this particular setup is because it's all about stamina. Not to mention the um, the, uh, the stopwatch. Also a very, very, very great item to have. it helps out with the stamina look at that I got all that stamina back just like that now what's over here I know Biscuit, Skrillex and Morgana was heading over here but they didn't fully commit or so they didn't you know have they didn't detect anything over here so they decided to come next to me and see what the fuck I was going to get into which I believe that's an outlet door right there I would like to have another shot at that thief. That's what I really want, but you know, eh. So far there's three doors, which means that there's probably a boss in this area that I'm already in on this section. One's gonna be a dungeon. The other one might be a dungeon for all I know. There probably be two dungeons. Well, you know what? It might just be a boss, a dungeon, in a path a passageway but the only question is which is which so I'm gonna go ahead scavenge door number one is gonna be on the far northwestern side of the map then I'm gonna hit the south end of the map then I believe this door here probably gonna send me up to the uh, northern section of the map but I could be wrong but other than that, I want to go ahead and scavenge and, uh, oh, excuse me. I'm going to see you lovely people in the next room. Let me go ahead and get this class set up, gain some health back. I don't have the goggles. Okay, it's called the Pearl of Illumination, right? Of luminance, pearl of luminance. There it is. And before I forget, what I have on here? Braided thorn for that crit damage. After slaying one enemy, I go ahead and get 10%. So yeah, I will see you uh, guys in the next room. I am going to obliterate that fucker. Wait a minute, did I? No, I didn't see that. 